What up YouTube? My name's Quickie, welcome back to the channel. Steve O's here. It's the weekend. We've got stuff to do. And we have got quite a lot to do actually, which involves we have got a lot to do. some of this, which he's gonna have, and some of this, which I'm gonna have. So we're uh, this weekend, what we could oh yeah, tail light, he likes it. He likes it quite a lot actually. It is That's in key. It's, it's real simple and it, it matches and everything else. So I'm happy that we're okay with that because now I can I can tack it in and do it properly and at some point I'm going to stitch weld all the inside so it's... because we, we ain't going to need to take it off anymore. No. So that'll probably get done during the week. But today we are going to divide and conquer. We have a cunning plan. What we're going to do is I'm going to start on the, um, uh, the battery tray, the battery location underneath the tank I need to get a tray sorted out for the battery that that fits in nice with a little bit of padding because then I can chomp a big hole in the bottom of the tank which I'm hoping we're going to get to do today. Yes. That would be quite fun. I want to know what that rattle is. is Rust, it, I would imagine. No, it's a rattle. I think it's like, I'm betting it's a washer or some, or maybe a nut or something. But there's something Probably. in the tank. But we'll, we'll see what that is anyway. Um, but once that bit's done, then basically the rest of the seat unit can be sorted. So the seat pan that you actually sit on, we need to get done, but I can't do that until the seat ump is in place. So today, he's making a buck. Not literally, <laughs> but yes, I am. So what he's going to do, a buck is like a skeletal sort of 3D version, I suppose. So it's got planes going that way and planes going this way that make up the overall shape of the, the seat unit. So he's going to mock that off out of cardboard to kick off with. And then I've got some plywood in the corner, which once he's happy with the design, he's going to make it out of plywood. Because then potentially I've got something I can bend the sheet metal around to start off with. And then I've just got to get the crown in the top of it. So um, we'll, we'll come back to that in a different video because that's going to be quite involved. And I am going to be pinching an idea that Andy came up with. Um, which is hammer and dolly in it yeah because um, I've been speaking with I was going to do it with the sh uh, make a deep throat shrinker stretcher but I've been chatting with Trev from Trev's blog who's really good at all the sheet metal stuff and I've also had a word with Lazé who's this little fella that lives in the States but you don't come from the States but he's blinding at sheet metal and they're all saying that the jaws on the shrinker stretcher that I've got are, are different enough that they won't work on a deep throat one because there's no cams and all that kind of stuff. So we've got to come up with a different way of doing it. We think we've got an idea and it's based on how Andy's doing this infill piece for his, his tank that he's working on because he got a nice little crown to that just by dinking it with a hammer. So the, we're going to give it a go and see if it works. But we need a buck to start off with so we know exactly what it is that we're going to be making. Yeah. And it's, I don't think it's going to be as simple as it looks on the telly. <laughs> I really don't. It's definitely not going to be as simple as it looks on the telly with me having a go. Yeah, we all, that's all you. You can do that bit. Do you want to show them how much cardboard we've got? Probably. And then we'll show them how much cardboard you're left with. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see how we get on. Yeah. So anyway, that's the plan today. Divide and conquer, we're having it. Let's crack on, bud. Get it. Oh. Well, how am I supposed to do from there to there and see what's right? I think if you take the tank off. Yeah, but I need to get to this bit. Yeah, this is going to be a problem. <laughs> <laughs> you do your bit first. Just let me get the, let me yeah, try yeah, and get yeah. the height. Is that on? Is that him? Yeah, looks like it. What do you think? I know we're going to be cutting loads of these, but yeah, where are we in terms of height? I think that's still too low. You want the seat hump to be the same I want, height? I want the top of that to be the same as that. Want some cardboard? I was, I was actually thinking if we were to, if we were to take a level with a tape measure to what the height of that is and then do the same. You know it's going to sit different when the weight of the engine and everything else is in it. Yes, but as long as it's, 
I suppose what I'm trying to do is I want the height at here, same as the, the highest point on the tank. Let's we'll stick that on it then. It'll do for a start, won't it? I think if you go any bigger with the seat on, it's just going to look like a bit stuck on in there. We'll go with that, because once once you get it, once you get the side bits in, and we've got the like that, you can always stretch something over it, like some plastic or something like that, and just fill it in so you can see what it's going to look like. Hey. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Do you think we need a more... Because I made... I made the profile on this one. Slightly... It's higher. But do you think we should add a, a more... A bit more of a, an angle on the... Uh, on the seat ump? What shapes your ass? <laughs> well, you're right. All right. Right. Um, Although I could have plans of steel by then, by the time we finish. I could also be dead in the box, but... <laughs> Do you... how, how are these buns of steel going, by the way? Buns of steel is, 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 is not been going as well as I'd hoped. Basically because I've just been spending too many hours in the car. I worked out that I've averaged driving hours just to and from appointments uh, last four weeks over 30 hours a week just driving it's an awful lot of time That's, sitting uh, down there. I'm only supposed to do seven and a half hours a day well, if you four can, hours four days if you, if you leave it as it is at the minute it's only a suggestion but leave it as it is at the minute and get the sides in and get the one in the middle right and then it's only the one at this end you need to worry about. So you can offer it up and say, I like it, I don't like it. And if you don't like it, you can chomp a bit off. See, I, 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 I think that's, that's too vertical, personally. Well, possibly. I'm only talking about shaving sort of like half a centimetre. Yeah. All I'm saying is you can take it off, but you can't stick it back on. You just have to remake the whole bit. So build it as it is at the minute. And then you can just keep shaving it off until you're happy with it. The other thing is, if we got any glue, <laughs> the workshop, not kindergarten. Uh, all right. I've got duct tape. <laughs> no, the only reason to give it a little bit, to give it a little bit more strength, I was going to say, is it worth uh, cutting out three exactly the same and just gluing them together? That was all. Yeah. We haven't got any glue, we haven't got any glue. We've got duct tape, that's about it. A masking tape. But well, that's, that's only a pattern anyway. Can I take this off now? Are you done? Yes, I'm done. Yeah. Sweet. Alright then. My arse can't be that big. <laughs> no, it's bigger. We're wedging it in a gap. Wedging <laughs> You bought the M unit with you as well, didn't you? Do I look stupid? Don't answer that. <laughs> yes, mate, it's in the box. Do you want it? Yeah, if I can. Mm -hmm. 
So under here then. Yes. Right, so under here. This bit is basically reserved just for the light, the wiring that comes up, the number plate light, the indicators, all that stuff. That's yes. that's all good just gonna be in yeah. there. I mean, if if then we'll have cable runs coming down. Yeah. So do you want your seat is going to come up and across and down and there's going to be a taco in the middle to support all this. So there isn't an option. There isn't an option because the taco is going to come up here. And it's probably going to be yay wide, something like that. Okay. Right. It'd only be quite narrow, so we could come off to the side of it or something, but directly in the middle, either side, we ain't going to have. We've got ECU. We've got starter solenoid, which I did, I'm, I'm not sure which one you've got, but there's, I found a really neat one online, which has got a fuse all built into it and everything. But the, 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 I don't know. But the starter solenoid has got to go in here as well. The battery's gonna stick in sort of yay much. And I can, I can offset the tray a little bit so the tallest part of the battery is in the middle because obviously that's where the tank's going. Because some of that wiring is quite delicate and it will just fall apart. So I'm thinking ECU under here. Yeah, about there. Something like that. Start a solenoid. Start a solenoid. Or we could have a start a solenoid here. I'd prefer to have the M unit. Well, we've got taco in them. Well, yeah. It's just that the seat's going to come in as well. That could go there. That could be fine. And we could have start a solenoid here. Because what else have we got? But that's that's pretty much it, really. Because this, this replaces solenoid. relays and everything, fuse yeah. box, everything. So start a solenoid, that's basically going to be it. What about points? Uh, <laughs> uh, coils and stats, sorry. Well, they were. No, I mean in terms of wiring. Well, we're going to have... Cable, see if I can keep it that side. Cable run down here. I mean, you could even do it like that. Start a solenoid. All the cabling comes down here, off the M unit, start a solenoid, ECU, battery feeds. We'll have earth strap in probably down here. Yeah. I'll probably put a couple of earth straps in, actually. Because also, this has to be earth, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is, this is but we can, so we've got space there. We can run two earths down the middle here and I'll put studs into this plate. Yeah. So that'll have an earth. Then we're probably gonna have a couple of chassis earths just cause why would you not? <laughs> <laughs> right? Yep. And all the cabling can come down the side. Yeah, all I'm thinking is that in terms of uh, the loom as it is, we've got the fuse box, yeah, all, which is replaced by that. All the relays in there, the fuse, everything's going. Start solenoid so, really is the only other thing. I think we do it like that. How big is the start solenoid? Physically, how big is it? That one. Right, that will go under there then. Yeah. And we've got these little things there, so I was going to do two veins that come up, so yeah, that exactly. slots on top of there. This will be bolted down, it's similar on that. Yeah. Are we happy with that? With this. This as well has got. The yeah, two, yeah. The two veins. I'll just make up brackets for it. That's fine. 
and then we've got because we've got some chunky cabling coming off there which can run down here and down the side he's only got cables going back all the cabling will come down the right hand side I want to keep it all as separate as I can do and to have the battery in the middle I have to offset the tray that way so the tray's going to go like that and we've got all this space for cabling so it's neat right I'm doing that sweet step one make that but in metal It's all right, isn't it? I'm bloody impressed with that. Oh, that works well, mate. <clears throat> Look at that! I don't know, can you see this? Nice smooth curve and everything. And it comes up quite snug. That's going to be a doddle to weld that is. I'm imp I am officially impressed with this. Brenda's doing good. So you're officially impressed with something that you made yourself. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Who'd have thought? What a humble person you are. Yeah. <laughs> mate, for a homebrew bit of kit. No, I'll, I'll, I'll take the piss, but no, mate, I'm impressed. Genuinely impressed. That's all right, isn't it? And it's nice and tight. This is quite chunky stuff. This is I like. I take back everything that I've said about you in the comments. That's like 1.5 mil, 1.8 mil, something like that. Yeah. And like the little tweaks and stuff that I've done, it's it's actually making a really nice tight curve. But this is where it wins out because you can remove the blades. It means you can do yeah, three box. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It just takes a bit of faffing about getting <coughs> it set up. Brenda done good. Hey. I'm chuffed. I know I might not look it, but I am chuffed. You are. Right? You do look quite, quite, <laughs> happy, quite, quite pleased with yourself, I've got to be honest. Well, makes it homemade bender, right? Yeah. Uh, came up with a design, stuck it together. There are a little, I have to, done a few tweaks and stuff to get tighter bends, and that's not bad. But it still needs a bit of bracing and a bit of finicking and everything else but that fits in there a treat and it is really good first time with a bender mate it's definitely not your first time with a bender but <laughs> <laughs> it works a treat man <laughs> doesn't it that that is absolutely bang on mate we can put a little bit of foam at the back to cushion it. Yeah, it might do one at the front as well. I'm not sure. Well, we can get we can get the uh, self adhesive foam just strips just to stop it from moving about. Yeah, that, that's bang on, mate. Oh, I am. It worked. Brenda the bender works. Can you see that? Nurse? Show the people at home. I don't know if you can see. Is is that in shot? 
It is in shot. All right. Right. I'll tell you what. So, um, about a square up against it. So this is all 90s and everything else. It's got a little lip at the front just to keep the battery in. Um, but essentially, battery's going in like that. So, rounded the front off just because I don't want sharp corners. And all we'll do is we'll stick a, a plate across the back. I could have done it all in one, but I'm using little off cuts and I didn't have one big enough. So we'll stick a plate in there, weld that in, job's a good one. But that's the battery tray. And she's done really good. I mean, look at these bends. See, they're quite nice and tight. And it's even all the way along. Nice little radius to it. That'll do. It's a nice bit of work, mate. It's a shame that no one's ever going to see it other than you and me. It's buried under the tank, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> That'll do. But that's not the point. We know it's there. We know it's there. Yeah. And we know it's right. Cool. That bit can go on there. Noisy boys. Back off. quite liking that you've got the more of a hump here than you do here like this is flatter than that bit yeah you can't go any bigger than that oh why can't we go any bigger because your ass is huge so there you go there you go i've gifted you that one you did but i think it's because if you look at it widthways on it's yeah it's all sort of in i reckon that i reckon you got something there i reckon if you if you stick the vape the supports in the middle and stuff so it's all kind of same where it is and we stretch some plastic over it and see what it looks like okay but i think that'll be all right you curve that way i think is is in keeping with the radius on the on the seat here not too much not too little give it a go give it a go so do we have a jigsaw we do. Yay! Um, That's a good start. I don't know how many blades I've got for it, mind. Where is the jigsaw? Uh, Right, so this box is going to be inset into this front plate. What I want to do is mark out where it's going to go and mark it on this tube as well. And then what I'm probably going to end up doing is taking this plate out, temporarily tacking it on here, sticking the tank on, and then we're going to mark the underside of the tank you don't want it all the way down there. You don't want it poking out the bottom. Yeah. So it's going to go about there. Like that. But then I figure if I tack it on here, then we can literally just run a Sharpie, you know, from underneath. For the tank. On the underside of the tank. And it won't go anywhere. Yeah. Now it'll give us an outline. And like half the Sharpie width will be the gap between the cover that goes on the outside. Yeah. And this. So, you know, we get a little bit of airflow around the battery. So that's what I'm thinking. Well, it's a shame, do, it? it's a shame you haven't got anything to make louvers, have you? 
I could make, I could make, but I haven't got a, well, I suppose we could do it in a vice. I could mill up a, a lever pin. Yeah, I was just thinking it would have been. What, you uh, want a lever in it? See, I don't want rain and crap and stuff off the, I know you've got no, your I, engine I just, here I'm and stuff. I'm just thinking exactly the same, actually, do, do we? I don't think you do, not really. How wide is this? <laughs> I should have remembered, really. Um, ruler. It's getting there. Though. That's looking good. I'm liking that. So, centre point. Call it two forty. So, it's yeah. 120. Right, so that's going there. Need to chomp a hole out of it. Progress. Progress is being made. So I've I just eyeballed it up and chomped all this out. So that's going to go in there like that, which is cool. Do you hear the rain again? Yeah. <laughs> and this fits lovely and snug in there, and we can have that like that. So, Steve-O, I need you. Well, that's not worrying that comment at all. <laughs> please don't ever do that to me again. No. That'll stick with me forever. Can I borrow you for a second, yes. please, mate? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, mate. Um, right, so, got a couple of choices. I can chunk this hole down even more and have this at more of an angle and set it in more. Because that way we haven't got a big hole in the tank. Or you can kind of have it where it is. Actually, do you want to grab the tank? I'll grab the tank. Yeah, go on. I mean, it's probably not going to go all the way down, but give us an idea, won't it? Yeah. I don't have to have it level. Not at all. I can have it at an angle. Right. I'm just thinking if I angle it down, then this ain't going to be showing underneath here and we'll have less of a hole in the tank. Unless you chop it in a little bit more. Oh, I know. No, I mean, I could just drop the box down a bit more. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. I don't think that's far off, mate, to be honest. Well, no, we've got the height. Where's the battery? Is the battery to hand? Oh, it's on the end of the bench. I don't get it. Hang on. Because you've got the height of the battery as well, don't forget. Yeah. So. Can we just shove that in there just for now? Yeah, that's going to make quite a bit of difference, isn't it? Yeah. That's quite a lot, mate. So, the gap that we've got down the sides here is the gap that we're going to be chomping out the back of the tank. So I reckon we are pretty much up to that line there. Can we uh, push it all the way back? Actually, that's not bad. That's not bad. No. I was just getting a little bit concerned. We are, we are. too close to this leading edge. We are going to be coming up to that. Well, it's going to stick out a little bit anyway, isn't it? But we are, we are, we are up to that line, I think. Should we do it like that? I mean, that's all just like flat. Because you ain't going to see it, are you? 
You've got carbs and everything else in there. No, you're not going to see it. Should we do it that way? I, I think I'd get the get the sharpie and go around the bottom of the tank and just take take the bit of metal out flat and then just put it down on top and see what it looks like. And cutting and holes, sit, cutting holes in the tank, aren't we? <laughs> Hang on. This is why I'm concerned, viewers, because this is the face he makes when he does it. <laughs> Cutting holes in stuff you're not supposed to cut holes in. <laughs> right. Should we do it? I think. I think. I think. I think we better. Where's that little square? You know, you know the little. Um, that's it. And sharp heat. I have been looking forward to this bit. <laughs> I've been looking forward to it. No. Right, is that tank on straight? Can you stand at the front and have a look? It's a little bit difficult because it's not. Uh... Hang on, let me have a look from now. Sorry, camera. These mice. I mean, we're going to have a bit of wiggle room, but I want to get it as straight as I can now. Yeah? No? I think that's probably just about it. Let me hold it there. Let's have a look. Yeah. Oh, oh you cock and cock. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure to say cock in a loud voice. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, camera. Sorry, Sorry camera. It's what you pay to see. Can you hold it from that end? Are you happy? I'm not very happy with the stance, but luckily no. that's not on camera. Actually, you. <laughs> that's going to do it. Let me get this. Uh, don't move. <laughs> right, we're on there, I'm yeah? I'm going to make sure that, that it's... That's too <coughs> big oh. as well. Um, 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 um. Ooh, that'll do. Right, are you happy there? Yes. You Yeah? Yeah. God, it's a right faff, isn't it? So all I'm doing is putting the flat of this on the upwards bit of my tray and marking it right there. We yeah. know we're going to have to open it up a little bit more than that anyway. Yeah. Because we want to get a bit of draft around it. But. Yeah. But you get to cut the tank. I do. I think we should do a side each. You're not cutting it. What do you mean I'm not cutting it? Well, I can't repair the whole of the tank. you got a welder. <laughs> How bad can it be? How bad can it be? <laughs> Whoa. What was that? Just sorted out your battery. Oh, um, you seriously? It's all right. <laughs> well, no, because if you've done it that bad, mate, that'll be fucked now. No, it won't. Can I connect, can I connect you to it? We've done that in a past life, remember? Yes, but you did it to me. 
as I remember, it was quite painful. Yeah. Dude, just sort of like talking about a personal grooming issue, yeah? How can you have no hair on your head and platable ear hair? Because <laughs> I don't know, I just can't. <laughs> Now. I don't know how well this is going to mark out, but neither do I, mate. All right, take it off. Let's <laughs> see what we've got. We got a rough shape. That's enough yes. to go off, isn't it? Yeah. I would say. Big old. We've got the tray, don't forget, and stuff. Yeah, no, I was just. I want to cut the hole. No one ever lets me use power tools. How about you drill a hole? Because you're going to need a hole in each corner. Actually, we've got that. What was that? That was the original. Uh, basically, it was on a pivot. So basically, you had a plate that come down and you had a bolt going through it. Right, well, that's going as well then. That's a big hole. Big old hole. And then we somehow we're gonna to have to get in that scene. Well, I personally, mate, would probably get the die grinder. Die grinder ain't gonna do that. Well, right. not with a disc on it. You're not going. You're not going through a lot, are you? Yeah, put a disc on a die grinder. No, the little disc. Be all right. Don't worry. Don't worry. I mean, the back end of it's going anyway. I can chomp straight through it. But um, no, you can't. Right, so, how much can you see? So, children. Right. Can you see that? Can you see that? I, I can't see if we can see that. There we go. <laughs> so, that's the hole that we're going to be cutting in the bottom of the tank. Quite a big hole. There's no internal filter in this, it's just a breather and the pet cock goes there. Yeah. So it literally is just an open empty space. So what we're going to do to start off with, because I, I want to offer the battery up. Actually, do us, I think we should probably put some duct tape over the terminals and we probably should have done that before. Mm. Yeah? He says I'll oh, short it the battery. Hey, hindsight is a wonderful thing. That. And that is staying in as well. We should have. That is staying in the video. We're not cutting that out because that's a cock up. That's a proper cock up. To be fair, we haven't made as many cock ups as I thought we probably would. No. We've, we've had a share, but. It's right. It's been a relatively cock up free Right. So what we're going to do, I think, is we're going to drill a hole in these corners. Oop. Drill a hole in those corners. Um, and then with the angle grinder, I'm going to chomp that out. That's the, That's the machine. Um, we're probably going to have to go through this. I mean, this is just pressed and then seam welded, so. 
but we'll be alright there, I think. I'd rather, I'd rather not go through the scene. Well, we're gonna, we're... we're gonna have to. I think. No. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get a grinder in there, and that bit's going anyway. It's got to go. What do you mean it's going? It's going. Going where? Well, it's gonna be a hole in the front of this by the time I'm done. Better bloody not be a hole in the front of the tank. Yeah, it will. Why will there be a hole in the tank? Because the seat's going to come up and cover it. That's not the point. <laughs> Why? Do you want the battery in there? <coughs> yes. That what? bit slopes too much to get the battery in there. We are chomping this out. All that bottom. And then on the top. Nearly up to that line. Don't, mm, we talked about this. Yeah, but I didn't think we were chopping the back of the tank off. Surprise! <laughs> you're, you're a fucking, you're an arse. Oh no. We don't need to. Yeah, we do. I don't think we do. No, we do, because it'll just be fun. No, it's, it's, it's not fun at all. It's, it's... The battery ain't going to get in there unless we chomp it off. I think it will. Look, if we're chopping, all right. If it fits, we leave it. If it doesn't fit, you get to chop it off. It ain't gonna fit. It will. It won't. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> I, All right, look. There, there's obviously part of the conversation that I wasn't paying attention to, and that bit was that you're gonna cut the back of me tank out. Well. I don't remember that being in the discussions. And I've, I have been here for most of the time. Do you remember putting those marks on the tank? You was here for that bit? No. You you was here, you need to pay attention. <laughs> <laughs> right, we're cutting holes in the tank. Right, drill. Okay. Right, we've had a doing day. We've got loads done, actually, haven't we? We have. We've made quite a... It feels like a proper yeah. day of progress today. Progress, rather than faffing. So anyway, Steve-O's been working on this buck, and I've got to say, it's coming along really well. It's got a nice shape to it as well. Um, might look a bit short, but then you've got to consider that the tank's coming on here as well, and then there's chunky well, goodness we're, going in we're here. We're <laughs> enough, enough about my chunky Well, there you goodness. go. But... But we can we can show we can show folks. Because look, we have a we have a working battery tray. It's that is going to be cool. Not sure if this is going to be strong enough to bend the sheet around. We we still no. need to muck about with that a little bit. But today was more about trying to at least trying to find a shape or, or find something, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, this way we know what it is that we're building. We we know what it's going to look like. We we know the kind of style and everything else that we're going for. So that's going to be blinding. That is going to be the next job after all this lot is done. Um, today I bent up this uh, little box, 
which I am very pleased with the way that Brenda performed. Brenda the Bender has performed exceptionally well. She did well. very well, actually. And um, for a homebrew bit of kit that kind of made up design and everything else. Um, Worked the, the treat, didn't it? The radius, um, after a little bit of tweaking, we've got it down to about a three mil radius, and this is on uh, 1.8 mil thick um, cold rolled steel, which is not too shabby. And there's no marks on it, there's no score, and there's nothing. Really nice bend. Um, so it was a doddle making this, rather than cutting all the bits and then welding them together and getting them yeah. square. Whiz them through Brenda and that was it. But Happy it, days. It, it, it looks a business, doesn't it? So all this is now tacked in. Uh, where's the battery? Battery is going to be terminals that side. So the battery fits in here quite nicely. There is a little bit of wiggle room, but that's just so we can get some, was it sticky back it's foam? Like self-adhesive foam just yeah. to sort of keep it keep it in place we'd rather have a little bit of room than it be too tight so that's going to be wedged in there um, we've decided where the ECU the starter solenoid and the end box is all going so that's cool and this side is going to be reserved for the wiring loom yeah because we want it keep it as as simple and as neat and as clean as we possibly can do so that's all going to be coming down here um, other thing we did <laughs> <laughs> We got a big hole in the tank. Yeah. <coughs> um, a bloody great big hole. Little bit of re revision. We was going to be chomp. I really wanted to chop the back out, but we're not going to need to now. I didn't want you to chop no. the back out, so that's good. So we've set this a tiny bit lower. We couldn't go stupidly down with it because we don't really want it to be seen from the sides too much, and we've got the carbs and pod filters to go in there. Yeah. But we have got enough clearance in here. So this, this hole is a little bit small at the minute, believe it or not. <laughs> it's got to get bigger. Um, but we're going to open this out probably by another five mil. And then I'm going to inset a box in here. I'll probably get that. I'll, I'll, this is, I might get it done this year. I don't know. Just see how, see see how, how goes. time goes. But we know what we're doing here now. Um, and we also know how we're going to be mounting the tank in that we're going to have... Um, this is going to be plated across here, so I've got a nice straight edge to work from. There'll just be an angle bracket that comes down, and there'll be a captive. We'll do like a little raised up bracket with a captive nut underneath it. Yeah. So this can just be bolted straight through and straight onto that. Ain't going to go anywhere. And the tank is actually really clean inside as well, isn't it? Much better than we thought it was going to be, wasn't it? I don't know if you can see that, but there's no, there is no flash rusting or anything else in there. Um, you're still talking about doing a tank liner yeah once we once we once it's all finished and we're getting we'll pass the dry build yeah then we will uh i'll get some of this thing it's called pet cell uh and that's I'll, what craig was on about wasn't yeah, it? Pet, craig yeah. Recommended, uh, off on your bike uh and he's much more learning than i am so yeah we'll we'll get that done uh the interesting bit over the next uh couple of weeks is going to be fabricating this uh, seat hump. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. Um, we're probably, truth be told, we're probably both going to have a crack at this because your old man used to run a panel repair shop or something. Yep. And his misspent youth included time in the workshop. So he's seen some of this stuff being done and I've never done it. So we're probably both going to have a go at this and whichever one wins, that's the one that will stick on the bike. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> But we'll see, I mean, we've... Not, not that obviously I'll be I biased towards mine, because it's... I just, we, we haven't done it before, so it would just be nice to All try. All I remember is, is that it's a lot harder than it looks. Yeah, I'll bet it is. I'll bet it. I'll, <laughs> have you seen Trev's blog? No. It's worth having a look at, because he makes it look easy. But then you see then some again, of the comments and the write-ups. and Yeah. We works on like old Ferraris and all sorts of stuff. Oh, so he's not a skilled craftsman then. <laughs> He's like me and you. <laughs> He's got a very nice hairdo. Okay. <laughs> so anyway, that's where we're. It's it's coming we're together. Go, we? We're going to have a go. That's it. Yeah. If we if we if we, uh, if we end up ruining a bit of steel, then so be it. We've got plenty. Yeah. But I, I, I plenty, it's done it. It's done it that I. Uh, I think we. Well, I think it's done that we both want to have a go at. Yeah, it's just interesting to see how to do it, you know. But anyway, that's 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 what's what. So. We're quite chuffed with progress today. Very good. Um, it's and beginning this, to almost... This divide and conquering malarkey works, doesn't it? Yes. We should do more of that. Might actually get it finished this year. <laughs> <laughs> Look, 
Anyway. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Um, so anyway, as always, thank you very much for subscribing, those that have. Um, if it is your first time here, we'd, we'd welcome you back. Just do the subscribe and hit the bell. You'll get notified when the next videos go up. Yeah. Um, I've got after footage from him, from where well, he's been. Well, they done. Well, from mucking about with the engine and getting all that cleaned I've, up. I've so. probably got another two, three hours work. Just. Have you just, got all just, the Dremel bits now? Did yes. You get them? How yeah. many did you get through? Uh, one Dremel bit lasts about the equivalent of about five minutes. <laughs> So I'm glad I bought 56 of them. Yeah, all of them. <laughs> so anyway, um, I once I get the other footage back from Steve-O, I'll put together another video, which is just him doing the engine, so you can see what we go up to then. Um, and as always, the comments are just brilliant. Keep the comments coming. Um, there's, you know, we're, we're picking up little tips and tricks and different ways of doing stuff and all that malarkey. So, you know, keep them coming in because they are gold. And I'm, and I'm really liking the way this is coming together. It's everyone's chipping in and helping, which is brilliant. Um, ultimately, we get to do it our way, but that doesn't mean that we can't take take your ideas into consideration either. So, no. so, have if, it. You do, so if you do have, have any, uh, any 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 handy tips Ooh. for uh, working metal with a hammer and a dolly, uh, then uh, please feel free to drop us a line. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, that's it for the day. Thank you very much for joining us. And we hope to see you again. And uh, that's it. Laters. Laters.